So I've already done a video covering 0.4 versus 0.8 millimeter nozzles, but I want to take it to the next level based on a commenter on that video and talk about 0.2 and 0.6 millimeter nozzles too. So let's take a quick look on all four of these little bubble sores I created and see what the difference is and maybe we can come to a conclusion on what may be the best to print in. So this is the 0.8 millimeter. Now it is 24 minutes to print, so very fast. Ignore the bottom. For some reason I accidentally printed a, a brim instead of a skirt. I don't know why. So we can see, and I hope that my camera will not totally lose focus, but we see that you can clearly see lines. And when you look on the top of Bulbasaur, it doesn't look great. It's very apparent that it isn't high resolution. However, it's good enough that you can see his eyes, some of the little markings on his face, his mouth is a little jacked up. The legs you still see, but there's actually supposed to be pattern on his legs and his back that you just you can't see. The resolution isn't there. The back of him doesn't look very good. A lot of distortion right here in the back of his bulb. And same thing for the, for the other side. I mean, there's hints of marking. So very fast, but you just don't see a ton of detail, as you'd expect. Now let's go to the .6. I think the 0.6 looks much better than the 0.8 and it was only six minutes longer. So this is 30 minutes and so you can see markings on his face. From the top you still see quite a bit of distortion and the resolution you know, still doesn't look great. From the sides you see now the markings on his foot, his back, his one leg. The back of him you can see right there almost his butthole has a marking. The bulb looks better. It's certainly not perfect, but it definitely is better than the 0.8. And so I like the 0.6. Now we're going to 0.4. And as again, you would rec recommend and see and take a guess, it looks much better, much more detail. This was 52 minutes. So 22 minutes longer than the 0.6. You still got a little distortion there in the bulb. Maybe you'd consider, I thought I could get away from using any type of support, but possibly you might want that in there. But again, you see more detail. You now have two markings on the foot, two markings on the back. The top looks much better. Is it perfect? No, but it still looks pretty good and definitely will suffice. So I like the 0.4 to 0.6. The 0.8 is just a little rough for me for something this small. You know, he's a, what, maybe 4 cm long, 2 cm wide. So something this small, you really want something like a 0.4, a 0.2, maybe a 0.6. For larger things, obviously 0.8 may be fine. So I will preface this by saying I have a super cheap 0.2 millimeter nozzle. It took me a long time even to print this thing, and as you can see, it still has a defect right here. I could probably pop that open if I wanted, but I think it will at least give us a baseline of look at the indention in his eyes and his markings on his face. Over here, you really see a pronounced markings on his leg and his back. You still see a little distortion there on his bulb, but the markings on his butt, on the other side of his body looks very sharp. The top of his head looks better. Uh, if you're gonna use .2, definitely <laughs> don't buy a cheap nozzle. I'm having fits with mine. I'm just gonna buy a new one. But this took two hours and 42 minutes, almost three times as long as the 0.4. So for me personally, I, I never used 0.6, but I'm really going to consider using 0.6 now. Much better detail than 0.8, but much faster than 0.4. 0.4 though, I think is going to be my go-to when printing small things. The 0.2 just takes too much long, too long. 0.4, 
is a reasonable time, good amount of detail, and certainly unless you're making a gift for someone or you just want something insanely detailed, you don't need something like a point two, in my opinion, unless you're just love resolution and to make it look as good as humanly possible. So that is point two, point four, point six, and point eight. Those are my recommendations. That's what I'm going to use. But let me know what you use and which nozzle you think is actually best for different types of prints. Thank you for watching.